Hey, what's up, people? Michael here. If you want to partner your YouTube channel up, check out the link in the description. Thank you, and stay tuned for the video coming up. and make sure the bastard's dead. Move, Lieutenant Baird. are denied any right to an attorney and may not question the authority of this tribunal. So we can't ask why you're doing this now. At the conclusion of this tribunal, I will issue a fair and swift verdict. Right. Of course you will. Colonel, are we being charged with doing our job? The charges will be defined as I hear your testimony. Now, Lieutenant Baird, begin with the last time we saw each other. A convoy needed some fresh rifles. We got volunteered. It didn't sound like the most glamorous mission in Halco Bay. It wasn't supposed to be, Lieutenant. like it was headed right for our convoy. Only Paddock knew what he was looking at. But he didn't say anything. Not yet. began, our cities have been falling one by one, and command has no idea who or what's responsible. Well, Colonel, I think I might know.
We went as fast as we could, sir. There was no saving that convoy. I heard other units talk about the glowing wretches, but I thought that was just soldiers telling stories. Turns out it's not. Our old convoy had been wiped out in minutes. Never seen anything like it. wretches died. They exploded like they'd been drinking out of a fuel tank. I hoped we wouldn't be seeing them again anytime soon. Colonel Loomis, this is Lieutenant Baird. Big problem, sir. Our convoy just got destroyed. Then move on to the Museum of Military Glory. It's under attack. Sir, whatever destroyed our convoy is still out there. Noted, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Come on, Kilo. You heard the man. was on the other side of the river, the side the cog no longer controlled. I thought maybe we could slip through unnoticed. Hmm, nice. This would make a fine UIR headquarters. Yeah, don't go fill in your canteen, Paddock. So this is the UIR sniper rifle. This isn't a gun! It's a comrade. Someone had designated the old town a hammer of dawn free fire zone. With our radios down, all we could do was rush through as fast as possible.
I knew we would save time by going through some buildings. It's not like there were any civilians left to care. I was beginning to figure out that the Old Town civilians were the least of the Cog's worries. <laughs>